All right, we are back with Resistance Retribution, eh? I'm kicking right back off in the sewers where I last left off last time. And I'm pretty excited to kind of get back into this game because I was really digging it last time. Uh, the controls felt really good, so I looked into like what the studio did before because I could not remember uh, much about Bend. And I had no idea that this uh, uh, this developer were the ones behind Siphon Filter and the Vita Uncharted game and of course Bubsy 3D, their best work. Uh, so it all kind of makes sense. Actually, I really gotta play the uh, Siphon Filter PSP games again sometime, and the originals for that matter. Siphon Filter is a really good series of games. Like, super good. But I have not played them in so long. It has been far too long. But yeah, definitely back in this, and hopefully, you know, it treats me well. This guy's almost dead, though. Woo! This dude has a death wish. Hello. Thank you for opening up that door for me, sir. Well, how am I supposed to like make him not die if he dies that quick? Oh wait, does it just like want? Oh, I get it. It wants me to like go for um headshots, basically, right? I was like, how is he gonna like not die here? Right, there we go, that's much easier. Oh god. Sir, teammate, maybe you should move? We're good. Alright. Let's move on. These position aiming is not too bad. Like, they start them pretty far away from you, which makes this much easier. Yes, so it looks like the developers like are really playing by like the, the means of the portable itself and like really designing the game around like the kind of the input method, which I'm down with. I like that. I mean, why wouldn't you like that? At least like they're designing it well. Water when we came through. Shit! Can't reach the exit. Wait, there's a flood control valve. I'll get it. No, don't do the this valve. It's going to do something bad. Be careful. Exactly, it's a Watch trap. <laughs> Leapers, get away from there. Oh, God, no! Ah, Jason! Stop it! Who's going to die anyways? Okay. So the voice acting goes between, like, passable to, like, dreadful, I'm noticing. Because our main character just does not care. He just kind of gives like that aura of like he does not give a shit. Which, oh, that's respectable. Like, that's commendable, I think. Alright. Well, we got the big old, big old icon here, so I assume it wants me to go here. Alright. Open up the Metroid door, sweet. And I'm gonna drown, not as sweet. Alright, swimming. While swimming on the surface, the controls are the same as moving on land. Dive under the surface, press the down button. While swimming underwater, press the square and circle button. Standard controls rotates you. Pressing the triangle button points you oh, upwards. Okay. Note that there's a breath meter, blah, 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 resurface. Okay. I find it interesting they put, um, swimming in this game, then. I find that super interesting. Can you see much down there? Okay, oh, there's the breath meter, alright. So where are we going exactly down here, is the question. Alright, that's a dead end. I'm gonna drown, aren't I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I 
Uh, apparently, I couldn't poke my head up there. Unlucky. Unfortunate. At least we got, like, some nice, calm, relaxing uh, music. As we slowly swim to our death. That also explains why they had so many things down there. Maybe? Wait. Oh, no. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm fully dead. I found the way out, though. <laughs> I did good. See, I thought, like, I'd have to, like, go to, like, the Metroid door, but apparently not. Bugger off. But, hey, whatever. You live and you learn. Cool. I'll spin this again. Odd, though. It's like, why did zoom in on this, then? Unless I am supposed to wait? Maybe I am supposed to wait. I'll give it all the time in the world right now. Let's go. Bring me up. Maybe I just got very impatient. And this one uses this as like a sandbox to swim, and I just instantly assumed to go back to where I came from. I overthought it. Of course I did. Why would I? Why wouldn't I overthink it? It just seems so right. Well, shit. Cartwright, the drones are dismantling conversion machinery. I've never seen anything like it. That's not your concern. Focus on destroying that gun. Perfect. We dragged you up the scrap. But yeah, so, so far so good, like, they're capturing, like, the feel of resistance really well on this platform. Like, that hasn't changed yet, but it's only level 2. So, I mean, that can still get ruined. Easily. And knowing this series, the series loves to do things that are questionable at best, so... We'll see. We'll see if we can kind of, like, maintain how good it is so far. I definitely do think I prefer Nathan Hale, though, by a significant margin. I feel no connection with this character. Like, Nathan, I don't really feel much either, but, like, I feel like Nathan was a lot more relatable than this guy so far. Like, I'm not even calling him by his name, because I already forgot his name. That's how unrelatable he's been to me. I'm just calling him protagonist. Maybe that's just how it has to be, you know? Health back, destroy this. Get those headshots? There we go. Maybe not. I could use the cover. They did teach me the cover was a good idea in this game. Like so. That didn't hit? Wow. Not bad then, shit. Can I uh, climb up? There we go. More robots? More robots. Oh, and boiler heads, okay. Don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh my god, where do they all come from? <laughs> what the hell? I want my health back, please. I have no idea where that dude just came from. Dear lordy. Alright. Let's move it on through, don't mind me. That might have been the scariest thing I've ever seen in Resistance. <laughs> How did I mass swap weapons again? Was it hold left? No, hold right? Yeah, okay. I'll keep what I got though. I'm trying to like re familiar my, uh, re familiarize myself with some of these controls. Double beautiful. It is very awkward though, like reaching for like reload and swap weapon and all that stuff on a D-pad. Like it is incredibly awkward at the moment. And one worry I have right now with this game is I'm very much hoping they don't overly rely on these uh, boiler head enemies. That's the big hope right now. Because I can already tell they seem like an enemy that might result in many cheap deaths. If they don't calm down with them. Because they've already like sent out quite a few to me. What do I know? I'm just a dude that plays video games. about those enemies. Especially when they send several out. Hopefully I get some health soon. That's the that's the hope. But uh that we shall say. Oh wait, did it want me to go up? Oh I thought I just saw like a, a prompt. Wait. There it is. Oh, that was a handle. I couldn't even tell, dude. Man, boiler had enemies. I like them. I just don't want them to be overdone, at all. It scares me. Like the the thought of them possibly being overdone sounds terrible. While Cartwright and the Marquis forces had already launched assaults on three of the gun towers, Grayson would have to reach his objective via treacherous sewers, canals, and heavily fortified positions. Grayson had once made it clear he would never take military orders again, but Cartwright knew if the mission were dangerous enough, he could be counted on to volunteer. I often thought that Grayson took these suicide missions because he had a death wish of his own, that his brother's death had been too much for him. I did not realize until much later how wrong I was. Okay. So, Coastal Defense is Rotterdam, ne uh, Netherlands. August 30th, 1951. In my prime Chimera killing days, I would have steamrolled through Rotterdam without a trouble. But now I'm bringing up the rear of our assault on the gun towers. I think I am a broken man. That I've lost my edge. They're wrong. My country's abandoned me twice. First when they sentenced me to die. Second when they cast me out to fight for a bunch of foreigners. But they haven't broke me yet. Private James Grayson. Maquis Mercenary. So they give me like a fresh set of ammo between levels, I wonder. I'll relax when the sky is safe. Let's see. 
Oh, they do? Okay. Range combat. Da 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 da. Just says, you're scoping on heads. Okay. The Fari works, like, shockingly well. Considering the controls for a PSP. <laughs> Like, shockingly pretty decent. Like, I don't think you would think so, but they, they do. That was just frag grenades? Okay. We'll probably do this, uh, uh, this level and probably call it on the video, though. I'll slowly make my way through this. Not more of these boiler heads. We've had enough of these games. <laughs> Don't overdo them. It's really just a precision aim. Uh, it's really just made for precision aiming on a handheld to keep you on your toes. And you cannot convince me of anything else. They're totally gonna abuse- it was my fear, was them abusing these. That's totally what they're doing. That's such a feels bad to me, dude. As long as I strafe a bunch, it's usually pretty hard to hit me, I'm, I'm noticing. Chimera has to be almost dead up there. Let's go to the, um... Let's go to the Chimera weapon, though. See how this treats me. Water intake valves located. Oh, hello. Another Titan, eh? We meet again. Come on, you big day. This thing shouldn't be too bad to face. You can't even, like, shoot over this, apparently. I'm not even scared. This thing's struggling, dude. There we go. He's dead. Oh, wait, what? How are you going to give me two? Two just seems a little bit excessive to me. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm already almost dead, aren't I? Oh shit. Let's run. Don't mind me. <laughs> Sir? Sir? So you've caused enough damage. 
Okay, he's blowing up. We're good. That wasn't too, too bad. Got all that. So, wait, where am I putting this stuff? Instead, I gotta put the pylon. Oh, right here. Gotcha. Now, where's the third uh, Titan for good measure? During the world's slowest quick time event. <laughs> What do we got? Is that it? Intake valves destroyed. Heading for the tower. Second squadron has reached the final marker. Changing course to south southeast heading. Private Grayson. Get in the boat. We can reach the gun tower from the water. I will show you the way of the Maquis. I don't know how I made it this long without you. Yeah, it was the entire level. Okay, that's a good seven point though. Like twenty minutes of this game, not bad. I mean, so far so good with that. I'm just not liking the boiler out of me. The Camara were completing fortifications surprised even the Maquis. Two weeks before, the Camara guns that now towered over Rotterdam did not exist. Grayson and Marquis Colonel Roland Mallory would have to set aside their personal differences long enough to infiltrate and destroy the final gun tower. Failure to do so meant that the second wave of transports would be destroyed. The fate of myself and every soldier traveling in the second wave of transports lay in the hands of James Grayson. Cool, man. But yeah, the boiler boiler enemies, I'm not feeling them. They're just doing them too much already. It's only been two levels. I'm already kind of getting sick of them with the amount they're throwing at me. Um, but basic level design's fine. Like, the gun combat still feels good for a PSP. It feels fantastic. I still think the game looks good. Um, and it's really captured the feel of resistance. So, like, I'm still enjoying it. But it's still very early in the game. Let's see what I'm doing uh, next video. So, we got Coastal Defenses, Rotterdam, Netherlands, August 30th, 1951. Mallory insisted on joining me for the assault on the final gun tower. Of course he wants to help. It was his screw-up that got the squadron one shot down in the first place. If Maquis Intel had spotted these gun towers, we'd all be safe in Luxembourg by now. There's only one reason I joined Mallory's band of resistance fighters. They put me back on the battlefield where I can kill Chimera. Nothing else matters to me anymore. Private James Grayson, Maquis Mer uh, Mercenary. So I guess we shall do this level in like maybe one or two more next video. We're going to take down this final gun tower, I suppose. Listen, Tommy. I have just destroyed two gun towers. If you want to survive, just shut up and listen. Aye, aye, Captain. It's Colonel Mallory, Private. Come on, then. Lead, follow, or get out of the bloody way. Cool. Yeah, but let's call it there. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I will catch you guys again for the next one, where we shall kill some more things that are currently rushing me. A little bit spooderish. Y'all have a great day. And toodles.